Hello, Namaskar. This is First Post and you're watching Vantage with me, Palki Sharma. New Year, more layoffs. Could that be the story of 2024? Well, the start isn't good. Amazon is firing hundreds of people in their streaming department. Google, too, is laying off employees. These are two of the biggest companies on the planet. So why are they cutting jobs? Is business really that bad? Or is big tech trimming down for more profits? We'll discuss that. Also, what did Maldivian President Mohamed Muizu achieve in China? Is he another Rajapaksa in the making? In the Red Sea, the Houthi rampage continues. Even the United Nations Security Council is now worried. We'll tell you why some countries are more worried than others. Meanwhile, Pakistan is upgrading its fighter jets. Is it time for India to do the same? Can Nikki Haley beat Donald Trump to become the Republican presidential candidate? And Bollywood superstar Shah Rukh Khan is CNN News 18's Indian of the Year. We'll bring you the story of his stunning comeback. All this and more lined up. The headlines first. China calls Taiwan's poll frontrunner a severe danger. Just days ahead of elections, Vice President Lai Qingde has promised to defend Taiwan's independence. Beijing claims the self-ruled island is part of its territory. China has also accused the U.S. of trying to interfere in the elections. At least 15 people killed in riots in Papua New Guinea. Angry crowds torch buildings and ransacked shops. The Prime Minister declares a state of emergency in the capital. The unrest comes amid a strike by the police over pay. The International Court of Justice hears South Africa's genocide case against Israel. The lawsuit accuses Israel of committing genocide in Gaza. But this is not a criminal trial. The United Nations Court will only deliver an opinion on the allegation. In Sweden, two top defence officials asked the citizens to prepare for war. The opposition accuses the defence minister and the military chief of alarmism. Sweden, which is close to joining NATO, has not fought a war in two centuries. And the UK's Labour Party embraces nanny state tactics. Keir Starmer announces his plan for children under a Labour labor government. There will, will be supervised toothbrushing in schools now and no junk food ads before 9pm. Elections in the UK could be held later this year. 